Now, if you're someone, and don't worry, you're not going to be alone. This sounds like you. If you find it difficult to save every single month, if you find it difficult to put that money aside, even though you know there's spare cash sitting in your account at the start of the month, but time you get to the end of the month, it's all gone. If that sounds like you, I'm going to tell you about in this video an app called Plum that could very well help you do that, move that money automatically to a separate savings pot with you barely noticing it. I'm also going to go into some of the other features and things as part of this Plum app. Basically, I'm going to review it and give you an idea of the good and the bad and whether you should be downloading it to your phone right now. My name's Andy Webb. Thank you so much for tuning in to this video. I blog over on BeCleverWithYourCash.com. I've been doing that since 2014. And everything I do there and here on my YouTube channel is all aimed to help you make the most of your money, whether that's saving money, making money, spending money, or whatever it might be. If that sounds interesting, make sure you hit that subscribe button and a little notification bell right next to it. It means you won't miss out on any of the future videos that I do. But let's get into it. Let's talk about Plum. Now, this is, you might have heard of some of these auto savings apps before. There's a few others out there. There's Chip, which I've spoken about on the channel before. There's one called Clio. There's a few others that have been and gone, but the other main one is Plum. Now, essentially the way this works, and I'll show you in a little bit more detail with Plum in a second, we'll get the phone up and actually look at the app. But the way this works is you connect your bank and it works with pretty much most of the high street banks plus the main digital ones like Monzo and Starling. You use something called Open Banking to connect your current account to the app. And then it gives read-only access, so it can't do anything more, it's got read-only access to your spending and savings, everything basically, your transactions that you make in and out of your current account. And it looks at that, and it looks at it month by month, and it analyzes essentially, right, I think that based on how much you've spent this month, how much you normally spend, how many ongoing things you have coming out, how much money you normally have coming in, I think you can afford to put aside 10 pounds, 15 pounds, 20 pounds, whatever it might be, into a separate wallet. So here they call them pockets, essentially within Plum. It moves to a separate place within Plum and it moves it out of your main account via a direct debit that's been set up. It moves it out of your account into this Plum pocket and then it sits there. And this keeps going on. So every time money is moved out of your account, it adds on and goes on and goes on and goes on. The idea is the money that comes out of your current account into Plum, this is the same way that the other AI uh, artificial intelligence algorithms work with Chip and, and Clio and others, is that you're not really, there's small amounts that you won't really notice. And if they're out of the account without you noticing, you can't really spend them either. So if you check your balance and go, can I afford to buy this? You go, oh, I haven't got that much enough money. You don't spend it. Whereas if it just sits in that account normally, you probably find ways to eat it up. So it's a very, very clever thing. I'm a really big fan of this, of making you just move some money across. And again, you really, you barely notice it. Obviously, you can say no, you can stop that move over if you want. So you can transfer that money back if you need to. So it's not going to cause any of those problems. But it really, really, really does help you save very, very quickly. There are some other things on Plum as well, other ways to help you automatically save, which I'll go to in a minute. But that's the whole idea of it. Now, the really good news about Plum and why I'm talking about it now, whereas before I've talked a lot about Chip, is that Plum is free for this. They do not charge you for this artificial intelligence algorithm, this auto savings feature which I think is fantastic. There are some paid options, which we'll talk about in a minute, but you can just open it up for free, won't cost you a thing, connect your bank, as I say, and then just start having those automatic savings coming out of your account. I think win-win, I think it's fantastic. If you stop watching the video now, you, should, you know, at least you've got that, you know that you're gonna help yourself at save some money all the time. But there are other things that happen with Plum. So let's have a talk about those as well. Because I don't want you to sort of uh, think this is a, you know, an outstanding endorsement for everything they do. There are some things I'm not a huge fan of, uh, but there are some extra good bits in there. And also I'll show you exactly how to make sure you get those auto settings, savings, uh, saving settings correct. So you don't want to make sure you save too much or not enough or, or fall afoul of a few other bits and pieces. Okay, let's start off. Let's have a look at the app. Let's see what's there. Um, I'll take you through all the different features, how they work. At the top, you see a couple of boxes. I'm not going to talk about the investments one right now. Yes, you can use Plum for investing at a very sort of just from one pound, but there are other options out there. This isn't something that I talk about a lot. So I would do your research on how Plum works for investments if that's what you're interested in. I'm talking about it here in terms of savings and managing your money. Now, this pockets, this is where your money is going to go to when you automatically save using the algorithm. And you click on that and you'll see a few options at the top. If you want to, you can deposit more money straight away. You can withdraw the money. All really simple, easy to, to use and find. Uh, but you'll see there are a couple of different pockets that I've got set up here. The primary pocket is the one that you get when you open the account. And that's one that if you don't change it, where all your money will go. 
With a free account, you've got the option to set up this basic easy access savings pocket. Now that doesn't pay a huge amount of interest, only 0.25% and it, that actually fell just uh, at the end of January. Not a huge amount of interest, but that is better than the literal nothing, the literal zero interest that you get in the primary pocket. So it's well worth opening this account. There are a few sort of changes to then accessing your money. It is kind of the next day to withdraw it, but that shouldn't be a problem for most people to take that cash out. Uh, but you will get say, a small amount of interest in there. Longer term, I wouldn't keep a huge amount of cash in there because you can get higher rates of interest elsewhere. So I would move that money on a regular basis every week, every month, whatever it might be. But that's where it's going to go. And there are a few little stats in there as well and a few other sort of features. Now you'll see here it says create another pocket to earn interest. And in fact, you get more interest, 0.4%. Not a huge amount more money if you do that. However, uh, you have to pay to get that. You have to be one of the sort of higher levels of plum. So I wouldn't bother with that one. But we'll talk about the different levels in a bit. Go back and the next one, and probably the most important one that you're gonna use most of all is something called the brain. This essentially is the settings function for the automatic savings. You've got a few different things here. Uh, let's start off with the thing at the top, the overdraft deposits. This is something you can turn on or off. I would always have this turned off because if it is on, it means the automatic savings functions you've got can take money from your overdraft. So if you're at zero or minus 10 pounds, minus 100 pounds, whatever it is, it might still transfer cash across. And that's gonna cost you money because overdrafts now are pretty much all charging around 40%. So I would always have that turned off. There's no point saving money if it's gonna cost you money because you're not gonna make it back. So I would have that turned off, okay, really important there. And then we move on to the savings rules. Now this one, the automatic one, is the one that I spoke about before. Uh, we can turn it on here and you can tell you what is going on. You've got some options here. You can see you can pause them if you want to pause it by a week, two weeks, a month, or you can choose a date. So if you know that things are tight or other things are coming out, just temporarily pause it uh, and that means that auto savings don't happen. The next one, current mood, is basically kind of a, a, kind of a way for you to kind of say how much you want them to save. The normal mode, the default mode, will save a kind of a reasonable amount, okay? A decent amount of money will move out of your account. You can increase that if you want to. You can, up to 75% more will go from your main account into your plum pocket, or you can reduce it down. The lowest mood there, as you can see, is one called shy, 50% uh, less savings. You can have that set however you want. You can play around with it, move it anytime. It doesn't make a huge amount of difference. Um, so I've got it here on every four to five days. Actually, it's every week it will do it default mode but if i don't want to do it anymore i said mentioned before i can pause it or i can just turn it off now you can hint into you to change your mood or pause it or turn it off okay really easy to do and that's how you manage that automatic savings account there are some other options which come for free some other savings rules which are worth explaining first one here roundups this is something you might be familiar with particularly if you've got monzo or starling but actually a number of main high street banks offer this now as well when you use your debit card and those other accounts here, it's whenever you spend in your connected account, it looks at like kind of how much that costs. It's say one pound 50, and it will round up that amount to the nearest pound. So one pound 50 rounds up to two pounds. The difference is 50p. It would automatically move that 50p from your main account into, in this case, your plum pocket. Now I've got it set so it does this uh, once a week. It rounds them all up together rather than doing them piecemeal. That's probably kind of a little bit easier, a little bit more convenient, um, but that's on there. Now, again, if you've got an account that does this already, you might want, not want to do it with Plum, but again, there's no harm if you're happy and your aim is to try and boost your savings. That's not a bad feature. The next one is something called paydays. Then you might think, hang on, paydays. The best time to set money aside is just after you've been paid and can help do that automatically. This might sound a little bit familiar because essentially this is just a standing order, right? One of the best ways, this is what I always say to people, if you want to make sure you are saving automatically, yes, this app is fantastic and does great things for you. The best thing you can do is set up a standing order straight after payday to move a certain amount of money into your savings account. That's really easy. You do it once and it carries on doing it forever. The difference here is you're moving the money rather than from your bank to another savings account, you're moving it into your plump pocket. Personally, I wouldn't use it on here. I would stick with the traditional uh, standing order method. In fact, I would go for a regular savings account, move that money. You can get some decent ones out there. If you're a member of Club Lloyds right now, you can get 1.5% with that. Uh, up to £400 you can move every single month. Uh, if you're Nat West, you can get 3%, but only 50 quid every month. But even so, that's a lot better taking advantage of those accounts than it is using this payday function. So if you want interest in this kind of thing, just set up a standing order. That's the easiest option. Now you can see there are a couple more here. We've got rainy days and the 52 week challenge. And next to them is the word pro. That basically means to get access to these, you have to pay money. You have to pay uh, a certain amount. I'll, I'll explain all of those in a second, uh, exactly what the costs are and what you get from the different tiers. But what you've got to understand straight away, really obviously is that rainy days, which is a lovely idea, 
Every time it rains, then your money gets moved across. And the 52 week challenge, which is, uh, you might be familiar with these saving challenges. There are a number of them out there, but this is one where uh, every single week, a different amount of money of cash is moved over. So in week one, it's a pound. In week two, it's two pounds. In week three, it's three pounds. Although they are great ways to gamify the savings experience and hopefully help you save more, you can do those for free elsewhere. You can do with Monzo, and I've got a whole video you might wanna check out. You can connect Monzo accounts to something called IFTT, if this, then that. And you can basically make these happen uh, without having to pay for it. And in fact, there are loads of other things you can do. So check out that video if that sounds interesting. But I would ignore both of those. I would ignore paydays. Roundups is worth looking at unless you're using it elsewhere. But that autom automatic one, that is fantastic. And it is the only place you can do that for free right now. Um, a couple of options down here. You've got a splitter thing here worth knowing about. This is basically if you've set up that easy access account, that 0.25% paying account, not a huge amount of money, but you've set that up. Uh, you can move the money over there rather than to your primary pocket. And you have to set that up. You can also split it 50-50 if you want to, because you might say, actually, this pocket over here I'm using for something and this pocket I'm going to use for something else. So you've got two separate funds, but although that money is moving at the same amount, depending on how you split it. So that's the brain, that's the main thing you need to know about there. Uh, a few other things that are going on here. Linking your account, as I said, very easy to do. You use open banking, so as long as you have uh, the app on your phone for your bank, it's very easy to connect and it, so it works for pretty much most of the major UK banks, the big ones at least. You can connect it, you can connect more. There's not really a huge advantage in doing that, uh, but you can if you want to, and credit cards as well. In theory, this gives them more data, them to help analyze your spending but really it's just giving them more data for them to do with as they wish so again i would probably just stick to linking your main account because although it does give you as we'll see further down uh, all your upcoming regular payments and a list of all your regular all your latest transactions i personally think there are other apps such as yolt and snoop and money dashboard which do this in a lot lot better uh, and a lot more detail much more uh, focused ability to, to actually look at what those transactions are and analyze them I'll do another video about those at some point, but I wouldn't necessarily use them here. So that's basically what you're, what's going on. That's the, essentially what Plum is doing for you. Now, there are some other things that are worth looking at. Let's look at this thing here, uh, lost money at the bottom. You could be losing £631.12 every year, but that's not true, right? That's just an average stat based on what people are spending. Look, you're talking about personal loans. You could be overpaying by £74.12. <gasps> I don't have a personal loan. It's just nonsense, okay? Broadband, you could be overpaying by 250 quid. What? But then hang on, if we go back, go back to the home thing, they've got a little message here telling me, looks like Virgin Media are overcharging you by 156 pounds. It doesn't know that, it knows nothing. I'm on a fantastic deal, I don't pay much at all. So I would, this whole lost money section is nonsense. Ignore it, okay, completely. They've also got a tab at the bottom that's cash back. And this actually is not available for most people unless you pay for it. So unless you join up and sign up to a more advanced version of uh, Plum, you won't get access to any of these. And to be fair, although there's some interesting things there, like 6% of booking.com isn't that bad. Top cash back and Quidco, which don't cost you anything at all, are pretty much gonna give you the same or better rates, a much, much larger variety of stores than you're gonna get with that tab. So again, forget that. So forget lost money, forget cash back, forget linking all your accounts, but absolutely do take advantage of that brain and that automatic savings rule. So let's have a look at the different versions. So that's the things I've told you about, mainly the free ones, that's the basic account, cost you nothing to do. You can upgrade, there are a couple of options. The plus one, one pounds a month to 12 pounds a year, doesn't do a huge amount. Basically all it really gives you is access to that extra savings pocket offering 0.4%, so a higher amount of interest. But since you can beat that interest rate elsewhere, there's no point doing that, an absolute waste. You don't get anything else for that one really at all. You also get access to the investing side of things, but again, do your research there. The next option is Pro at $2.99 a month. So you're gonna pay a lot more money uh, every year to use this. You get the same thing, that extra savings pocket with a 0.4% interest. You get access to savings goals, which is great, but you can get savings goals on Starling and Monzo and so many other apps right now. Unlimited customizable pockets, again, really good, but you get that with Monzo or Starling. The cashback, I've already said, isn't great. The extra savings rules, I don't think are very good. So overall, I don't think it's worth upgrading Plum. I think you stick with that free version. That is the best thing you can do. So there you go, that is my Plum review. Hope you found it useful. Quick summary, it's a great free resource to automatically move money from your current account into a separate savings pot 
well well worth signing up just for that and moving that money across you will be amazed just how quickly that little here in this case pocket of savings builds up really really great innovation the fact that it's free and doesn't cost you anything means for me it's head and shoulders above the other ones chip and clio and anyone else who offers that and charges you for that algorithm i do appreciate though that they want to try and they have to monetize this and get some money somehow which is why you've got those things like the cash back why you've got the investing why you've got the plus and the pro features why they're trying to get you to switch your broadband or your loan within the account but i don't think they are the best places to do all of those i don't think you should be using their switching services i don't think you should be paying to get access to the extra features or the cash back now hopefully that mean doesn't mean that they have to kind of add in a charge in the same way the others have for the algorithm i really appreciate they're trying to keep that free for lots of people um, but that would be my home, big take home on that free version for automatic savings great everything else not really that fantastic i would also want to say with this and i did mention it before if you are putting money into that pocket you're going on a little bit of interest which is great but if you want to get the highest amount of interest make sure you move it to the best possible savings account that you can and i have got a regular monthly update where i go through the best savings accounts out there so do check out that video uh, every single month they update it so you can make sure you are getting the highest possible interest for your money now if you found this useful if you think that i've saved you money helped you save your cash or even make some money please do like this video leave me a comment as well all that kind of interaction really, really helps YouTube know that this video is useful and therefore it shows it to more people and helps them with their finances as well. So if that was the case, thank you so much. Please do do that. I really would appreciate it. I'm Andy Webb. Until next time, cheers. And here are a couple more videos you might find interesting.